This video is part of a video series with world-renowned recovery expert or healing expert, Gary Rinal. What you're gonna learn here is something that'll change your life, make you a better person, and it will completely fill your mind with information that'll make you better day in and day out. Enjoy the series, and of course, in the description box below, you will see a playlist listed where you can watch every video, parts one and beyond. So, uh, to the Mark Pro. Oh, awesome. So, I'll show you how this works and why and how it accomplishes the four tasks. Good stuff in, bad stuff out, production and release of the myocons, and reorganization of the paired tissue. Not a debate, not a question, for sure. It's how the body works. It's, it's designed to self-repair, not self-destruct. I know I say that a lot, but you know what? Until you get that embedded in your brain, I'm not gonna stop saying it. Okay, so now let me show you how the Mark Pro works. I'm going off of that ankle injury that we were talking about. And I've already put the gel on the pads so that the gel increases conductivity. It's aloe, so it's a moisture. So it comes pre-gel. No, I did it. Okay, I you did it. All right. And the aloe will improve conductivity. So as a result... So this is for an ankle, but you see he's setting up up here, down there. See, because what you want to do is you want to think about what you're trying to accomplish. If you have waste that's accumulating down there and you want to move it up the channel, then you have to activate the muscles accordingly. So with the Mark Pro, you turn it on and you push the low button, because the high button is for pain control, which we don't need to do that right now. This is just a pumping action. So you turn this on and you activate the muscle and if you look at the way this is contracting, if I can get myself in a neutral position here, can you see that on the camera? Oh, you can see that. Okay, so here's what's happening. I am activating the muscles that are deep, superficial, intermediate, and everything in between. So as the muscle contracts and relaxes, it milks that waste out of the area, like milking the cow back. Yes. Yeah. And the difference between this and passively squeezing the skin, there's no comparison. No. It's not even a contest. For, for moving the waist, there's no contest. For increasing blood flow, it doesn't even do that. For producing and reducing the myokines, it doesn't even do that. And for reorganizing repair of tissue, it doesn't even do that. But for moving the waist, here's how you move waste. You do this. Now, why is Mark Pro different? What, what's the big feature? Well, the big feature of Mark Pro is that you can do this for 15 straight hours and won't fatigue your muscle. So here's what we don't do. We don't make it bigger, stronger, or prettier. We don't do that, it's not what we do. We take care of that one obstacle that we talked about earlier. It's called congestion. You train, you create a congestion. The only obstacle you should have, because I'm assuming that you're properly hydrated, nourished, and rested. The only obstacle you should have is congestion. You decongest the area, your immune system will handle, handle the healing. But if you don't decongest the area, everything's compromised because you can't get to the damaged site with the repair and cleanup crew and you can't remove the waste because the stuff's in the way. And you can't produce and release the myokines without the stress, so the worst thing you could possibly do is train hard and sit still. So here, here's the deal, I'm gonna actually respectfully disagree that it won't make you bigger, faster, stronger, and prettier because the sooner you recover and get the waste out of there, the sooner you get back. That's fine, but then you go do the work. Exactly. We don't want the so credit. So it contributes to the process. Yes. We're, we're, look, I have got a spot. My spot in the market is I help you decongest the area so that you can recover, heal, so you can fix the problem, so that your immune system can take over and recover and grow, and you go back and train again. Awesome. So, for example, let's take something simple like a major league pitcher. At this point, I have over 200 major league pitchers using Mark Pro. That's a real count, me sending an email to all the head trainers, by the way, 100% response, imagine that. That's, I'm told in itself that's a stunning statistic. A 100% response from all the trainers, all the head trainers in the major leagues. There's over 200 major league pitchers using this. So they're mostly on a five day rotation, is how their system works. So you throw, five days later you throw again. Well, what about if you waste the first 40 hours because you sit still and don't move? 
you're compromised at five. How about if I never allow that 24 inches of angry snow to even accumulate? If I see a snow flurry and I start dusting the sidewalk, imagine how much faster your endpoint full recovery will be, or better, your full recovery plus the growth. And it isn't that we're speeding up recovery, it's that we're normalizing the rate of recovery by not allowing the area to stay congested. Remember, if it stays congested, everybody's compromised. Oh, there's not that much. Okay, I know. You <laughs> there's as much as there is, though. You do a hard set of squats, that's a serious amount of damage. There's a lot of damaged tissue there. Flush it out. Bring in the repair clue, take out the waste. As Kelly Starrett said, and I wish I had made this up, groceries in, garbage out. It was beautiful. I told him when he said on that on the video that, that I believe you watched, I said, oh, I wish I made that one up. It was just so good. Groceries in, garbage out. But there's a lot more to it than that. It's the production and release of the myokines that drive or mediate that tissue preservation regeneration process. You need that to happen. And then to reorganize repair tissue. In effect, when, when the repair process happens, the rough carpenters come in, and they just nail stuff. Have you ever been in a job where the rough carpenters, they bend the nail over, they don't pull it out? Finished carpenters don't bend nails over, but if they do, they pull it out and they repair the wood, or they might even replace that piece of wood. The rough guys, they don't care. They just bang stuff together. Well, you gotta get those tissues to realign. Well, that's all the remodeling phase is. That's contingent upon loading or stress. So you stress the muscle, you bring in the good, you take out the bad, you produce and release the myokines that drive or mediate that tissue preservation regeneration process, and you reorganize repair tissue. So on repairing tissue, let's say you did squats. Well, how would you, let's say, you, okay, I just did squats, I want to improve the recovery process. What would you do? I mean, you don't have to hook up and get, you know, do whatever. But well, the great news is the answer is so simple that you don't need a demo. If you can point to that which is tired and sore, point to it. Um, let's say I'm tired. My, my, my quads are killing me. My, my, my medials my medials sore. You know, I'm a little bit sore. Maybe my inner thigh is a little bit sore. Great news is you didn't use the academic words. So you didn't say the, you know, the hard things like your gracilis or your adductor mag. Point. Okay. Inner quad. It, it hurts here. Okay. My, my, it hurts here and it hurts here. Right. So all you do is find the most dense area of the muscle you're trying to activate put the pad on top of it, find a corresponding area to it. It doesn't really matter where the other one goes. Just pick the next sore area, put it over that, turn it on, feel the muscle. If the muscle you're trying to activate, the muscle is tired and sore. If the muscle that's tired and sore is activated, you're in the right place. How long do I keep it on for? Well, this is the answer people don't like, but I'm gonna give it anyway, then I'll, I'll be nicer afterwards. Till the problem solved. And it depends on how long, how, what's wrong, how efficient you are. So let's just say, go back to the pitcher example again, because this is an easy one to go to. Perfect. Pitcher throws 20 pitches. Well, if someone throws 100, it's going to take longer, which is why you can't have a pre-programmed, pre-prescribed recovery period. I have, no, I have no idea how much work you did. I have no idea how efficient you are. I have no idea how much damage you have. Well, therefore, I can't predict in advance how long it's going to take to solve the problem. Okay. Can I guess? Yeah, major league pitchers are 30 to 45 minutes, but there's a bunch of guys going two hours. I've heard of guys going five hours, flying coast to coast, keeping on the whole time, saying it's the best treatment they ever had. That would be a great use for it on airplanes. And stuff. Oh, doing on your traps on an airplane, I do it all the time. And so, but you see what happens is, if, if, you, want, if you want me to force an answer, to say, oh, here's how long you do it for. I would have to give you bad information. You cannot possibly in advance predict how long it'll take to facilitate healing. And I love that answer because that'll be the first question we'll get. All right, so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna get to feel it. Okay. And here is the simple rule. Use your brain, never cause pain. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna follow that up with the big point. This is a recovery technique, not a training technique. Okay. When you train, you expect to suffer for a greater good. This is a recovery technique. There's no pain involved. Okay. So you find the most dense area of the muscle you're trying to activate. It's really that simple. 
And the great news is, once you turn it on, if it's in the wrong place, you move the pads. So it's, it's not, there's, no, there's no crazy. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is we're going to say that your deltoids and your traps are tired and sore. They're always tired and sore. Just yeah. from having proper posture and all that good stuff and flying and driving. Like I drive to Ohio for every, every other week I drive six hours each way to Ohio. So they're always messed. There's always something wrong. Well, this will change that for you in the future. So now what we're going to do is remember the rule. Use your brain, never cause pain. This is a recovery technique, not a training technique. When you train, you expect to suffer for a greater good. Recovery is not torture. Which, by the way, goes back to the point I made to you about, say, for example, foam rollers. Foam rollers, the intent is to find a bad spot, break the adhesion, which will be very uncomfortable. That can't possibly be a recovery technique. And yet I go to places all over the country, and they have that in the recovery area. I'm like, that's not recovery. This, this blew my mind, him saying that. It's a, yeah, I mean, it's just logical. It's logical. Yeah, but we don't think logic. OK, so here we go. Remember the rule. Try to relax the best you can. Use your brain, never cause pain. Oh, that is. Now, the best you can, sit back and relax. So there you go. Do you want me to turn around for this? Or? Yeah, you, we'll spin you. We'll go with it with the wires mm -hmm. so you can see what's happening. Now, it's definitely contracting. I'll tell now, you this that. is really good because we've got a little issue where, see, this side's contracting really well, and this side isn't. So what you do is you look at the cable, you turn that one down, and you move the pad accordingly, and you figure out where the better spot is. So again, what some people do, okay, they it. see the hit we have. So here's the thing. A lot of people who buy these kinds of products, they'll tell you, here's where the pads go. You gotta do this exactly. That's not true. This is where his spot is. So this is where you have to move to. You have to be willing to move the pads accordingly and get the activation you're trying to get. And so what happens is now the muscles contract and relaxing. Now I want you to contrast this to if I was squeezing your skin. Feel how deep the contraction is? Oh no, it's definitely How deep. could I possibly squeeze your skin like that? Can you kind of borrow your hand? Come, just come over and feel. Yep. Feel how you're activating the muscles, superficial, intermediate, and deep. Yep. You cannot possibly squeeze the skin and accomplish that kind of activation. It's possible. You're getting a muscle contraction versus just applying pressure. And there you go. Squeezing the skin doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't now, contract muscles. Does it feel good? Yes. yes. Do people say they like it when they're done? Yes. And the fact, most say they feel better when they're done. Yeah. Fine. Just it could realize. Be, it, it could be a stress reliever in and itself, and that, that could make it worth doing, but it can't do the job this no, does. No, it's not going to facilitate, in effect, when we get to the end point, healing. Yeah. So whether you call it recovery, which I don't like the word, because of the problem that they put out in the media, but there's so many recovery things, it sounds like nothing's real anymore. It's watered down. Okay, this is a recovery technique, okay? It is, this is a recovery a true technique. true recovery. But we're really doing it. This isn't a game, we're actually using the muscles of pump and move in nourishment and waste. Now watch this, cross your arms like this, just kind of relax and lean back into it. See how much stronger it just got? Yes. And the reason for that is you took your torso and stopped fighting me. So what happens is the weight of your arms forward and your torso and, uh, and your core leaning against my activation up top affects it. So you know, well, if you were to cough right now, like fle flex, your, flex your abs right now, tighten up. You see what happens up top? Now relax. You see the difference? Huge difference. And it's like, wait a minute, how do my abs have anything to do with my traps? Sorry, folks, everybody's connected. I'm trying to activate the muscles. The more fiber I attract, the less time it takes to accomplish a given task. So the goal is for you to get in a neutral position where you have no tension against the muscle we're activating and activate. So just a little thing we can do with me here, watch this. Give me the weight of your arms. Let me have you. You give me this. Now you relax. See? By simply taking his arms out of the weight. Because his arms weigh a lot. His arms are hanging down and his traps are forced to try to hold itself still every time it hits. And yet when you just do simple things, like if, if we had a pillow, and you could put a pillow between your torso and your chest right now on your arms, and you lean back in a lazy boy chair, you'd activate another 25% muscle fiber. I made the number up, but I've done it enough times to know how much more you'd get. 
And the more fiber you attract, the less time it takes to accomplish a given task. So how long does it take? Uh, how efficient are you? How much damage is you? Where's the damage? And uh, what position were you in while you were doing it? Because if you were in a bad position, like watch this. Tighten up your traps and make it stop. Stop it. Uh-oh, what happened? It's just a little tap. Yeah, now let go. Okay, now that you is insane. You understand that <laughs> that's why we're different. That's such a key thing, just like with actual exercises, because this is muscle contraction. So when it comes to performing movements too, just how you said people are like, no, you have to put the pads exactly here. Some, some trainers will say, you have to do this movement exactly this way. When we have different limb lengths, yes. we have different movement patterns. And it's like, if, you, if you're truly working with the body, you have to let it do what's optimal for it. And so this body position thing that you just showed us with different arm positions, torso positions, it all, it's all variable. Positional awareness is the number one thing I teach once I get past how to turn the machine on. Because positional awareness, like say for example you're a major league pitcher. So if you were looking at me like this, and I put it on your shoulder and you're a pitcher, and you're leaning on this chair like this, lean real hard on your elbow, lean on your elbow, look down. See what happens? See how it messes you up? Now let go of your elbows, get your hands out of the way. You see the difference? I don't want you to restrict my signal. I want you to relax. Ideally, you're in a lazy boy chair holding a pillow across your chest and you fall asleep. That's when it will take the least amount of time. Right. It takes the most amount of time when you're walking around with a pumping like that. And you're, yeah. and you're literally walking around. I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're stopping me from attracting the fiber. The more fiber I attract, the less time it takes to accomplish a given task. So always focus on attracting the most fiber. Always looking for the most fiber. Yeah. Now, if we want to have fun with your audience, because I know they'll like this. Everybody, I know you've been waiting for them to do this, so we're going to do it. What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to go on your packs. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> grab a little of this mess here so we can Now, see. this is actually great, because this is when you, this is the main area that gets friggin' tweaked during bench press. So this will be kind of cool. Sure yeah, well, hold on, we got, we got too many rolls in a row. Okay, now you spin clockwise. Um, you cannot say to a bodybuilder who is sitting down hooked up to wires, spin clockwise. There is no way he knew which way that was. was yeah, it? it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. He's All actually right. much smarter than the average bodybuilder. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm trying to relax. And the best you can relax, you relax. So what you do is if you point to the areas tired and sore, you put the pads on the most dense area of the muscle you're trying to activate. Or on the nipples. <laughs> Just kidding. This is not that... that <laughs> That's next door. <laughs> yeah, the, the, there was a movie out years ago, I believe it was called... Is, can you say a bad word, Jackass? Say jackass. Oh, of course. Okay. There was a movie out called Jackass. And where they put the pads, not with our machine, fortunately, oh. where they put the pads yeah. in the movie, Inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do on Jackass. Yeah, that's, that's how they typically do. Yeah, no, we're completely inappropriate where they put the pads. So this is what you do to activate the muscles that are tired and sore. Whatever's tired and sore, you simply do. And so what I say on my ridiculous point is, if you put it on your right hand, it won't help your left foot. Okay, you get it? If you put it on your quad, and it's really your gracilis, which is a muscle on the inside, you're in the wrong place. You gotta put it in the right place. Okay, so to turn the machine on, you push the power button, you pick high or low, and in this case, we're using low for the muscle activation. So we push low and low, the blue light comes on, you know you're there, and then you increase the intensity following the simple rule, use your brain, never cause pain. This is a recovery technique, not a training technique. Let's say real quick that he is activated and clearly getting contractions. Do you push it to the point of, okay, this is a little too far and it's uncomfortable and let me back off? Or what do you do to know, to know how high you can go? The rule is always use your brain, never cause pain. But let's say he's I in no pain right now. Uh, but, you, you back yeah. off. You, the, the, this is not a test. So it never is uncomfortable. Right. So if, if I put, here, here's how I solve uncomfortable. It's a very simple process. One, reposition the body. Try to solve the uncomfortableness by getting you in a different, by holding a pillow, 
do something. Two, I'll move the pads. Three, I'll turn the intensity down. Because I don't want to turn the intensity down. Right. But I have a rule, use your brain, never cause pain. I guess my question was more along the lines of, right now he's at level nine. Yes. He is loving it, everything's great, but would it be better for him to be on 10 if he was loving it and everything's great? In theory? The more fiber you attract, the less time it takes to accomplish a given task. Right. But there are limits. For example, say we put two machines on him right now. Mm -hmm. Only so much waste fits through. Uh, it's like if you went to a, 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 a pro game and at the end of the game, 80,000 people are trying to leave and they only have two exit gates. That's all there are. No matter what, you got to wait in line and go out one at a time. Well, your lymphatics are very similar. The waste moves one cell at a time. You can only move so much. And that's a smart thing, because if you sent too much at once, how would you manage it? How, yeah, would, you, how, yeah, would, how would you get rid of it? This is cool. So it's, it's a very controlled process. And once you've activated all of the muscle like this, I mean, everything is activated in his traps area. So he, we're completely active. There's nothing more you need to do. You just sit and wait it out. And now, you know, could you find something that was you know, a little more activation by moving a quarter inch this way or that way. You know, you could, maybe, but here's the thing. I look and say, when I've got a great contraction like that, I know the difference between that and anything better is going to be so slight. Just go with it. Just let it go, yeah. Fix the body position. So we don't have to focus on the minutia. It's just a matter of getting great contractions and then letting it do its work. You want to activate the muscles that are tired and sore and then get in a position that takes the tension off the muscles you've activated. So for, for all of your uh, um, weightlifting audience, which I suspect is most of your audience. A lot of them. What you wouldn't do is put it on your quads and get in this position. Because you have all that tension on your quads, yeah. it won't work. It was like when you tightened up like this. Mm -hmm. So you just think things through and you say, well, how do I get my, my upper body out of tension right now? Well, if we had a pillow here, and we don't, but if we did, and you held a pillow like this, the pillow would take significant stress off of your back area and would attract more fiber. I'll hand you the pillow and I'll put it where it belongs. Okay, now, does this chair lean back at all? Can you? Uh, yeah, I can, I can chill. Okay, so now see how just doing that made it stronger? Yeah. And the reason for that is you took your core out of it. Now, what, what you want to do is you're trying to get the muscles you're activating out of tension. So you don't want to stress with, see your arms are on here right now? Watch this, just watch this little thing. Give me your arm. Look at the difference. Yeah. When I take your arm, just off of leaning on the pad, on the, on the arm rail. Now take this, go across your chest, drop your arms in there, and just fall back and relax. Just right there. Can you see what happens? My whole body is kind of moving. So down. remember, the more fiber you attract, the less time it takes to accomplish a given task. So you get in the most neutral position you can with the muscles you're activating, and you go from there. Ideally, you're in a lazy boy chair and you fall asleep. I could fall asleep, actually. Believe it or not, even though my body looks like I'm gyrating, pulsating. <laughs> Those are like your could... favorite songs on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually had one uh, um, back many, many years ago, one of my uh, cyclists, my endurance cyclist. Uh, I didn't do it. I had nothing to do with it. And I would have because it was so cool what he did. But he put a song. He got a song that banged to this. And he's here like this. That's so funny. Yeah, I can see where this would definitely improve recovery. Well, remember what, what slows recovery down? It's congestion. Yes. So if you decongest the area, if you bring the good guys in, and you take the bad guys out, and you produce and release the myokines, and by the way, you're also simultaneously attracting the uh, stem cells to the area that are residing in the muscle area. Mm -hmm. So the stem cells, if there's been serious damage, are going to come in and differentiate and become what you need them to become. So all of that is going on by a muscle activation. The human body is designed to self-repair, not self-destruct. It's not, I'm not just saying it. It really is, and it's contingent upon muscle activation. Not because this is called Mark Pro, which is, which is a muscle activated recovery cascade. It's because that's what it is. I like we simply named what it was, what was happening. It's a muscle-activated recovery cascade. This is fantastic. So where can they find the Mark Pro? MarkPro.com. There you go. Well, Gary, 
I, I got to say. I think I got to turn the machine off. <laughs> I, I think this is great. He doesn't want it off now. No, this he is great. <laughs> I, th I think we should do the whole, like, I'm me hugging a pillow. Yeah. So, so we've learned more in, in this time, and we're going to split this up into different parts. But we've learned more in this time. We, we appreciate so much oh, you coming out here. <laughs> you coming out here. <laughs> Just and, uh, <laughs> we appreciate you coming out here at uh, our Las Vegas headquarters here, um, our West Coast location for Tiger Fitness. And uh, to get a hold of you, um, do, is there a specific website? Just want to go to Mark Pro. Where should I get a hold of you? If you want to get to me, um, you can send an email to Gary at MarkPro.com. Okay. And that's really simple. But I also have a website, GaryRhino.com, that has all my stuff on it uh, about not icing. Um, however you go there, if you send me an email, I will respond. All right, cool. Well, all the, all the info is going to be linked in the description box below. Appreciate you coming. Sean, thanks for coming out for this, bro. Gary, thank you. It's, it's a great time. A pleasure. Great meeting. Appreciate thank it. you. I'm going to just sit here for the rest of the day. Gary, thanks so much for coming in. <laughs> uh, this is Gary. He's the man. He's the... Uh, He's the anti-ice guy. Anti-ice man, thank you. And thank you, it's been a pleasure having you, man, and that's not a game. The meltdown continues. <laughs> that's even better than my line. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is a multi-part series. The playlist is listed down below in the description box. However, Gary's product, which is called the Mark Pro, is one of the greatest recovery agents on the market. Coupon code is Lobliner, L-O-B-L-I-N-E-R. Put that code in there when you buy it and $100 will be donated straight to the Semper Fi Fund from your purchase.